cannot believe it's been a year since I was at Cipriani's. Our galas are just the best events of the year. I look so forward to seeing our pop family all in one room, eating, drinking, glammed up, wearing heels, and but most importantly, celebrating the many accomplishments that we've had over the year. Pop is doing great work around the globe and supporting 100,000 kids. And I can't believe that this year we're not gonna be in the same room together. I think about Adam, our founder. We'll be lucky if he wears a suit from the waist up. And surely he'll have shorts and flip-flops from the waist down. I don't know. It's gonna be so different. Tanya. Gary? Tanya. Gary? Is that you? Tanya, going virtual is a good thing. Just imagine what happens when you expand your boundaries. This is a huge opportunity for pop, for us. It's limitless. Shout out Jim Quick. You have a point. Tanya, the future is digital. As much as I love being with the pop crowd in a building, I love being with the pop universe virtually all over the globe. Tanya, he's right. We can trend with our message of access to education for all. You guys are so right. Who needs a banquet hall to celebrate our great life-changing work? We're united with a mission. Yes. United we are, but in full glam, even from home, although I have my fuzzy slippers. My name is Tanya Ramos, and I'm CEO at Pencils of Promise, and welcome to our first ever global gala, A Moment in Time. We're so thrilled to be here with all of you today. Thank you so much for helping us keep the tradition of being together while yet being far apart. I know that together we will continue to work diligently to ensure that our children around the world have access to a quality education. And during these unprecedented times, I'm sure you'll agree that we've all learned so much, as have our teams around the globe, that innovation is a ripple effect. And the children that we serve today will be our leaders of tomorrow. We are just so excited for what's yet to come. And we thank you. Thank you for helping us with this clarity. Thank you for supporting our mission. We've learned that while providing access through a safe structure, the building of a pop school is important. We've also learned that to build a powerful school doesn't mean building it from the outside in. It actually means building it from the inside out. So without further ado, here to present our first award is our esteemed board member, amazing supporter, OG, and lifelong POP family member, Astrid Womble. Hello, I'm so happy to be able to introduce the nominee for this year's Activist Award. The Activist Award is given to a person who demonstrates leadership and a commitment to making meaningful change in their community. This year's recipient was the first employee of Pencils of Promise. She has worked tirelessly to bring quality education to Laos. Her energy and passion are evident in everything she does, whether it be negotiating the terms of a new school or playing on the national basketball team. Both myself and my family have had the opportunity to spend time in country with her, and her love for both Pencils of Promise and Laos are evident. Please join me in welcoming this year's nominee for the Activist Award Lenoy K. Osaban. Congratulations, Lenoy. Thank you, Ostrich. I am miss you and your family. Sabadi, everyone. I am so happy. Everyone is watching tonight and that we can still have pop gala even from Laos. When I hear that, I will be an honorary this year. Wow, it's in my heart. For 11 years, I have given my heart to Puff. Every single person in the Puff family, the team, student, and donor have made my life so happy. In Laos, I get to see community transformed with the power of education.
I know so many family and kids who are going to have better lives and better lives for their family in the future because of Puff and because of you. I hope everyone had have fun night and we'll keep supporting Puff so we can change the lives of even more children around the world. Khop chai lai lai. I am Freeman Goba, Ghana Country Director for Pencils of Promise. This year's Visionary Award recipient had the heart and the foresight to build a company based on an innovative one-for-one -one social mission model. For each loan common bond funds, a student's education is funded through Pencils of Promise. That model has not only resulted in a successful award-winning company, but also has driven $2 million in donations to Pencils of Promise. For that, we are most grateful. It is my honor to present this award to Common Bond and Visionary CEO, David Klein. Thank you. It's such an incredible honor to be receiving the Visionary Award tonight. I feel like we're in such great company. As some of you may know, at Common Bond, for every degree we fund on our platform, we fund the education of a student at a Pencils of Promise school. It's a one-for-one -one social mission pioneered by Tom Shoes and made even more popular by Warby Parker that we've brought to education and finance. I couldn't be happier that POP is our one-for-one -one partner. POP does such phenomenal work delivering social impact in a sustainable way. You know, I met Adam a number of years ago in New York. And here we are, seven years and $2 million in donations later. Gary, I remember not too long ago when you and I sat on a panel and I announced surpassing $1 million in donations to POP. Tonight, I'd like to thank Adam for creating such an incredible organization and for the wonderful partnership over all these years. I'd like to thank Tanya Ramos, the incomparable CEO of POP, and my man Freeman, country director in Ghana, whom I've seen every one to two years now meeting him and, and his team, being, being able to see all the great work they do in the field and seeing all the great impact we've been able to have together. Finally, I'd like to thank my team at Common Bond who work incredibly hard every day to make education in the US more accessible and more affordable. And in so doing, driving that much more impact abroad through Pencils of Promise. So Pop, thank you again for this tremendous, tremendous honor. I can't wait to see you all soon. He's a best-selling author, podcast host, purpose coach, and a former monk. I'm speaking, of course, about the one and only Jay Shetty, a modern entrepreneur who follows some very ancient practices. Like many of us, he struggled to find the balance between corporate life and his search for deeper meaning. And also, like many of us, he discovered that living a life with purpose is its own reward. He's a philanthropist in his own right and encourages others to live life with purpose. For his dedication to global education and leadership and for hosting Pencils of Promise's most successful digital Facebook campaign ever, it is my greatest pleasure to present the 2020 Philanthropy Award to Jay Shetty. Hey everyone, I'm so grateful, honored, and humbled to receive this because the truth is that the real recipient of this is everyone who's out there on the front lines, on the ground, that's making a true difference in the lives of these children. And I'm so grateful that I get to play a small part in it, but I really want to share this with all of you. And I wanted to share a story a story that I've been reading about and that I came across on a YouTube channel called Dare to Do. And it's a story about the power of education. A young boy was separated from his mother when he was only a few weeks old because his mother was a slave. He was taken in and raised by his grandmother. But when the boy was six years old, his grandmother left him at the plantation to fend for himself. 
the master of the plantation sold the boy on to a carpenter. At this time, it was illegal to educate slaves. But the carpenter's wife began to teach the boy the alphabet. When the carpenter found out, he was irate and forced his wife to stop the lessons. But it was too late. The boy's appetite for knowledge had been kindled. And as it turned out, that appetite for knowledge was even stronger than his appetite for food. The boy began to trade his bread for lessons in reading and writing from some of the local boys. As the boy's reading skills grew, he started to read more complex material, including newspapers and books about politics. It was then that he began to comprehend widespread institutional injustice against black people. He also began to understand that education was a key to unlock these chains of injustice. And so he began to gather with other slaves to teach them to read and write. As the popularity of his classes grew, the slave owners discovered him and became angry. The boy, who was now a man, was sold to even crueler master who whipped him regularly. Eventually, he managed with the help of his future wife to escape the master and travel north, where he joined the abolitionist movement. In spite of great personal risk and once being chased down and beaten by an angry mob, he became a well-known speaker and writer for the movement and also joined the fight for women's rights. Eventually, he caught the attention of the President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, who made the man one of his close advisors. Eventually, after Lincoln declared slaves to be free citizens, the man was nominated as Vice President of the United States, the first black man to have this distinction. Throughout his life, the man underscored the power and the value of education for individuals to not only change their own lives, but also to change the world around them. He became a legend and an inspiration to millions and throughout history has often been quoted by many political, spiritual and other leaders. That man was Frederick Douglass and I'll share one of his quotes with you now. He said, once you learn to read, you will be forever free. So I wanted to share that with you all today. I thank you all for the incredible work that you're doing. And I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Sending you so much love. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm Gary Vaynerchuk, a very, very proud board member of POP. A uh, couple things that I want to get to before I send this over to Boz. First, Thank you to all of you that are part of this. This is clearly unprecedented times and finding different ways to give from the depth of your heart is such a remarkable accomplishment and it means the world to me that so many of you are part of this. It means the world to me that so many of you have been excited in my community to be part of my after party and that's what I'm here to talk about. Tonight we have three incredible after parties with Jay, who we just talked and saw talk, with the SNL crew, which I'm very excited about, and then mine. We also have three very lucky winners who are about to get an email where they will get to choose which of the three, which of the three after parties they can join. I'd like that to be mine, Jennifer, Jonathan, and Vincent. That's right, Jennifer, Jonathan, and Vincent, please expect an email. I'm pretty excited about this because I wasn't given the last names. So I'm thinking right now, if there's a Jennifer, Jonathan, and Vincent that are not getting the email, they're going to be jumping up and down trying to find it. Please check your emails, Jennifer, Jonathan, and Vincent. We will see you. I will see you a little bit later in this program. I'm going to send this to the incredible Boz, who is a dear friend in a second. But I just want to thank you one more time from the board, from myself and everybody. And we're looking forward to the after party and get ready. We have a great night ahead of us. Boz, take it away. A year ago, I was so honored to be appointed the ambassador to Ghana for Pencils of Promise. Ghana holds a special place in my heart because it is where my family is originally from. And I was so excited to be on the ground when we broke ground at a new school there. I hope to return very soon for the inaugural opening day. 
I hope you are inspired by the mission of Pencils of Promise in continuing to serve students and communities, especially in this unique time. Let's look at how Pencils of Promise continues to help even when the pandemic forced schools to shut down. My name is Enyo Ajo Day. I teach at a Pencils of Promise School. I normally wake up very early, around four o'clock. I use 45 minutes reading through my lesson plan for the day. I tidy up my compound, I do sweeping, I go to the kitchen, prepare breakfast, and start walking towards school. I am very passionate about teaching. I want to impart knowledge to the younger generation, and I want them to come up as responsible peoples in the society, so that when we have played our role and gone, they will take up the mantle and replace us. I think for a start, we're all in denial. We thought this is just going to last for a few days, weeks, but we have gone through weeks, we have gone through days, we've gone through months. A lot of kids have stayed at home, teachers have stayed at home. Parents are under stress because they have to take that extra responsibilities. The idea of the radio broadcast first came about when this pandemic, COVID-19, struck and everybody was confused and were thinking of how to help the pupils in the house. A friend from the municipal education office came with the idea to do the radio program and that I should come and manage the KG section. The radio teaching and learning was a very wonderful project initiated. We have realized that the children were actively involved. They were glued to the radio set and started learning. The pupils' reaction to the radio program was very fantastic. They were calling in to read, to answer questions. I reached a lot of new students, far and near, even those who were not in the municipality. I heard the announcement on radio teaching, and my mom told me I can follow. Sometimes they use songs, poems, story, and sometimes I even dance. Subject is Doji Jona Menya Akonta. Ela bana manye nye. We describe Pencils of Promise as a family of people who believe every child deserves access to education, of people who want to make change in their community, of people who want to raise the next generation of leaders. The mission of Pencil of Promise is very important because they help us reach people from far and near. Without them, we couldn't have reached them. Pencil of Promise is our savior. Good evening, I'm Adam Braun, founder of Pencils of Promise and the world's biggest fan of Lenoi Kyosivan, one of our award winners tonight. I'm also uh, hugely grateful to Jay Shetty and David and the incredible team at Common Bond for all of their phenomenal support and immensely, immensely proud of the entire Pencils of Promise staff and global team. You know, we began with very humble beginnings, just a $25 donation to start this organization in hopes of building one school but really founded on the belief that even an uh, act as small as giving one child one pencil can truly change a life. Last night, we were able to light up the Empire State Building, gold and yellow, just like a pencil, all 102 stories, representing our organization's work around the world in service of children in need. You know, 2020, for many of us, if not all of us, has been such a challenging year. But within a year like this, it's also enabled us to gain, I think, an unprecedented set of both perspective as well as appreciation. Appreciation for the role of great teachers, as I'm sure many of us have experienced across this year, the recognition that our teachers are truly 
part of our society's greatest group of heroes. It's also included appreciation for the importance and just the foundational knowledge in the significance of washing one's hands and positive and proactive good hygiene. And finally, I think it's taught us all tremendous appreciation for community, for connection, and for the need to extend beyond our normal comfort zone in the service of others. And as we launch into the fund and need part of tonight's program, well, you will have the opportunity to truly change a child's life with a financial gift. What I'm gonna ask is that each and every one of you that is watching this goes beyond your personal comfort zone in thinking about that gift. So in preparation for that part of our program, I'm gonna ask every one of you that's watching this to take a couple quick actions. There's no commitment in these actions, more than anything, it's just a primer. But on your screen in the top left, there should be a donate button. I'm gonna ask for you to just click on that donate button. Once you've clicked on that button, it'll take you to another screen with a series of yellow boxes. The top left yellow box should have a white button within it that also says donate. So I'm gonna ask you to click on that top left yellow box. And once you've done so, you'll be on a screen that has a series of giving levels, giving amounts. And I'm gonna detail each of those amounts and walk you through the type of impact that that can have. But because this is gonna be announced real time, uh, we're gonna share the gifts as they come in. And it takes you know, a, a little bit of time to process each and every gift. What I'm gonna ask is that if you're already on that page and you know the giving amount, if you have it in your mind that you're gonna to contribute towards this evening's fund and needs section, please just go ahead and process that gift. Uh, it will allow us to have those recorded, but also to announce them real time so that we're not lagging behind. Um, you know, you can do so uh, with a couple click of a button to, to you know, really change a life. And I, I would ask that you sit on that page now as we'll walk through each of the levels. But if you want to you know, have that number in your mind, maybe think about doubling it, extend beyond your own comfort zone. Um, because we're you know, only able to do great work because of nights like tonight and because of people like you that are participating. So as we dive into this section of the program, uh, it's my tremendous honor to bring back Pencils of Promise board member, you know, one of the most incredible humans that I feel such good fortune to have in my life, uh, my, my brother in many ways, uh, Gary Vee, to join me so that he can help announce the gifts as they come in real time. Hi, Gary, how are you? I'm great, Adam. How are you? Doing good. Very, um, as always, excited for the gala. You know, and I, I loved earlier in the program, and you know, you and and our phenomenal CEO Tanya were just talking about how this is such a different year, but it's also a year that I, I think has given us an opportunity to bring people into this event that we've held every year now. You know, since 2011, um, mm -hmm. that has been really just located in one room in New York, and and as you alluded to, a moment like this allows us to open it up to the entire world and to welcome in a full digital family as well. So, so I'm excited and of course, you know, no one knows this organization the way that you do and grateful for you, know, you being a part of this with, with me and, and everybody else. Listen, I'm super excited to be with you. It's definitely been a very different fall. Usually in the fall and autumn, we get to be together at the gala. We get to be together for a Jets game and our start of that season. Listen, we want to help pop heavily. If Adam and I are diehard New York Jets fans, if that alone doesn't have you donate for the misery and suffering that we have had emotionally this year and this season, if that triggers you to donate, we would love that to be the case. But Adam, I'm really excited to be with you. Um, obviously, it is a very different year, uh, but I'm, I'm noticing people sharing on Twitter right now because I'm being, uh, you know, multitasking. I'm pumped to be up here with you to announce uh, in real time some of the uh, donations that we received during this period. I wanna give people a little extra time. Adam, if you, if you don't mind, can you repeat one more time because I'm already seeing people asking one more time, how do I do that? How do people donate at this point? And then maybe you can go into the tiers and we can describe that. Yeah, so if you're watching right now on the top left of your uh, live stream, there should be a button that says donate. So you click on that donate button. It'll take you to a second screen that'll have a series of options there, but the top left option on that second screen uh, has a white donate button, uh, the top left tile. So you wanna click on that top left tile and then that will take you to a page that will show all of the giving levels that you and I, Gary, are about to walk everybody through. Uh, or you can just you know, insert your own number if you wanna contribute directly uh, on that page. So uh, again, top left corner of your live stream, there should be a button that says donate. Uh, from there, top left corner again, 
tile that says donate and then you'll be on the page that will enable you to click through, choose your amount, and then you can process it within a couple clicks of a button. So without further ado, Gary, I think we should dive into the fun and neat section with uh, each level being detailed. Yeah, so we're, let's go. Yeah. Perfect. So, so we're going to start at the $50,000 level. Uh, $50,000 enables us and you to collectively dedicate a brand new school built. You know, Pencils of Promise, when we started, the vision was just to build one school. You fast forward, you know, a decade plus later, and I'm so proud to say we've built more than 500 schools around the world. But right now, after this you know, incredible challenge of a year that we've been in, I'm proud to say this team is ready to break ground on five new schools. And those can all be enabled right now, in this moment, for you know, the, the benefit of a tremendous amount of children if people out there that are watching this are willing to step up and make a $50,000 contribution. So, you know, um, it's a big gift. I recognize that, but it's also a multiple of impact um, that will be truly, truly intergenerational uh, and impact countless lives ahead. So, you know, I'll, I'll come back to you, Gary, uh, yeah. as you're the one who has visibility into the live stream ticker, the contribution coming in. I'm not uh, able to see it. So I'll defer to you. Got, How are we doing? I've got you covered and I have a huge announcement. We have our first $50,000 donation. So it is a huge ask, but, but clearly uh, there are people that are supporting this incredible mission that you started. And we're very grateful because we know the kind of year it is. So big shout out to the Foundation uh, Education Actions and the Forceland family, which has supported POP quite a bit through this COVID season ready. And to come in with a $50,000 donation it is, Amazing. Uh, I'm sure, touching you right in the middle of your heart, Adam. A hundred percent. I mean, yeah. gifts like that, you know, they're they're not expected every day, but on nights like this, magic happens. And and so before we close out this amount, I just want to again um, ask if there's anyone out there that you know has has witnessed the uh, content in tonight's program, you know, spent time getting to know our organization a little bit, or maybe you're just being introduced for the first time. But this is really our, our highest, most transformative gift on an evening like tonight. And so, Gary, you know, just want to before we close yeah. it out, I don't want to move too Let quickly me. because there may be somebody else. Because uh, I know it takes some time to process donation. If you're out there, again, um, we would all be so so grateful if there's anybody that would be willing to make a fifty thousand dollar contribution. Adam, nothing has come in yet. We're going to give it another minute. Um, yeah. Obviously, we're in real time, you see them on the screens. We do it a bunch of different ways but I wanna make sure the tech's in place, make sure the team's structured. Let me just see here, nothing yet. Um, give us a little preview, are we going to 25? I, I want, I'm trying to use past years, where's the next level? Yep, so so the next level will be a $25,000 contribution. Um, Adam, let me do this. Um, okay, so I will match a $50,000 donation personally. Maybe. Somebody, <laughs> hold on, Adam. I'm, I'm, you know, listen. If somebody comes in right now, if somebody comes in for 50k right now, I will personally match that. Let's extend this by a couple minutes because we have a few. I'm gonna give mm -hmm. you 100, 150 seconds, uh, two, three, four minutes. Let me see. I've got nothing yet. If anybody out there really wants to make an impact, has the means, and is compelled, this incredible organization that I can tell you, I've been on the ground. I've seen the faces. You know, it's funny. A lot of people ask me about my relationship with Pop. I am pretty loud and famously uh, an individual that talks about being bad at school in my childhood. But I remind people that for me, entrepreneurship from a self-awareness standpoint was my way out. And oh, by the way, I was in America, a first world country, the empire of the moment. For me, what happens when you go on the ground and you realize what's happening in the world. My version, had I not been born in Russia and got to America, but had I bor been born in Laos or Guatemala or Ghana, my version of getting out would have been a school instead of entrepreneurship. We all have different mm -hmm. vehicles that get us there. And so for me, my passion is, and my, my reasoning for being here is giving back a manner that creates a spark for somebody's next chapter in their life. And in many parts of the world, an infrastructure of a school is exactly that. Mm -hmm. So that for me is that, and let me just see here. I apologize, let me just see. 
I also, seen- Derry, I mean, whether we get somebody or not, I, I just want to say thank you because because um, your support of the organization has been incredible. But to step up in a moment like this on our biggest night of the year um, and offer a matching gift, hopefully there's somebody out there that is compelled enough to match you in that contribution because it is uh, really generous and not something that we take for granted. Uh, I have a big announcement here, Adam, and for mm-hmm. everybody watching. Tanya is about to drink her entire glass of wine. Uh, Tammy Farley, Tammy, I I cannot wait to hug you in real life when that is allowed. Has mm-hmm. come in. Welcome to the Pop family. A fifty thousand dollar donation, which now I will match, and we now have three people at the fifty k level. Congratulations, Incredible. Pop, Adam, Tanya. We 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 have this. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tammy. Yeah. Thank thank. I mean, thank all three of you. I think in the history of our gala, I don't think we've ever had three gifts at that level simultaneously. So um, in more ways than one, we are truly breaking ground on something new tonight. Um, so thank you immensely, Gary and and um, Tan, uh, Tammy and, and the foundation as well. Let's give it another second. Maybe we'll sneak it a fourth, but um, I know we have to get this in before we get to the after party. So let's give sure. it a more seconds. All right, I think, I think we're safe at this point. Obviously, if anybody wants to come in a little late, we're happy to take it, but we can uh, we can move on. Okay. All right. Well, that's a great way to start. So, so now we're going to move on to the twenty-five thousand dollar level. So, twenty-five thousand uh, dollars will enable programming like our wash programming, which is around water, sanitation, and hygiene programs for five full schools. Um, you know, again, twenty twenty has been such an unprecedented year, but I think it's a year that has, for all of us, regardless of where you live, regardless of you know where you were raised. It's, it's highlighted the immense significance and importance of programs just like this, which we've been running now for years at Pencil Promise in recognition of the fact that in these communities where we operate, uh, the education is really the first step to good practice. And specifically, in a moment like this, water, sanitation, and hygiene programming can really be transformative. And at this level, you can provide that to five specific schools as well as facilities for that type of programming. So this is a, a really life-changing gift. Um, it's also an incredibly timely contribution because of the type of programs and facilities that it can enable. So hopefully that's helpful to all of you considering the $25,000 gift level. Uh, Gary, I'll, I'll bring it back to you for uh, a little bit of the, the real-time feedback uh, to yeah. see how we're doing at that level. Real quick, before we uh, take that, because actually, let's do this because I'm seeing it on social. Adam, one more time on how people can donate. People are starting to ask. Yep. So um, if you're watching the live stream, it should be top left. There should be a donate button. I believe you can also visit uh, live.pencilsofpromise.org, and that will also enable you to gain access to a contribution page. Uh, If there's anybody out there that can let me know in my ear, which specific URL is best. I believe it's live.pencilsofpromise.org. But again, if someone in my ear could just confirm, that would be super helpful. Um, but if you're watching live stream uh, through the original gala link, again, on the top left, there should have been a, a donate button. And then from there, there should be a tile in the top left that has a white donate uh, text on it. And you click on that, and then that'll take you to a page that will enable you to uh, view all of the different giving levels. Thank you, Adam. Um, so I have some good news. Um, we have Lou Wilcox, um, who has donated 25K. Will, Lou, excuse me, thank you so, so much from the bottom of the heart of the board, the organization. I know I can speak for Tanya and my good friend, Adam. So we've got Lou at this point. We've got one on the board, uh, Mr. Braun, and that is an exciting contribution for sure. Um, Incredible. We'll Incredible. A few more minutes. Of- Adam, actually, while we're letting people set up and see if we can get another 25 here before we go next, why don't we do two things? One, I have a question. Two, can you give a preview of the levels? Because I'm seeing some people trying to figure out where they want to give, and sure. might, they don't have a sense of all the levels. So what levels are we going to go through here? Uh, so, again, we start at 50. We're going to go to 25. From there, we're going to go to $10,000. The level below that will be $5,000, then 1000 500 and then $75. So those are each of our giving levels for this evening. Thank you. And Adam, real quick, 60 seconds on this because I'm trying to cram it all in. What does it feel like to start something in your brain and see a night like that? Like you're a young kid, you have this thought, you want to do this thing. 
And you know, I'm sure if I showed you a picture of this, that first day you had this thought, you would say, why are we all on computers dressed up? What's a yeah. pandemic? And I cannot believe what this organization has gotten to. What does it just feel like for you on a night like this? That's a great question. Um, it's something that's really hard to verbalize. It's hard to put into words. And um, I think maybe my best attempt is is that it feels um, sometimes kind of uh, outside of, 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 you know, I'll say you, but in this case, it's me as an individual, um, you know, for, for those that have heard the Pencils of Promise story before, our, our origins and you know, are, are familiar with it, I, I think one part that I, I haven't shared all that frequently is, um, you know, the night that the name Pencils of Promise popped in my head, you know, I went home, it was like electricity went through my body and kind of wrote out this this founding manifesto and mission and vision and, you know, like terrible fundraising ideas, none of which are as good as, you know, what we're doing tonight. Um, but the one thing that was so clear to me was that this idea it didn't belong to me. Um, that in many ways, you know, I was fortunate enough to have it kind of come through me, but but that it belonged to others. It belonged to you know the sixth grader that's going to do a lemonade stand to raise money for Pencils of Promise uh, on her corner. It belongs to you know the corporate leader at a company that says I'm going to use our internal foundation and I'm going to motivate our employees to build the school together. It belongs to you know all of our staff, our interns, our board members, our advisory board members, and you know, it belongs to the person who's watching this live stream and may have never heard of Pencil Promise, but saw it on a, a tweet that you, Gary, or somebody else might have put up tonight and suddenly is curious and, and feels like in a dark moment. Because this is another thing. Pencil Promise was started uh, in October of 2008. And, you know, we haven't had a moment that was culturally as, as challenging as 2020 since then. But I remember thinking so clearly that, you know, that that phrase in the darkest moments is when the stars shine the brightest and, and that that. Uh, in a moment where people are, are seeking positivity and joy, that Pence's of Promise could be a haven for that. And, and seeing that we're in another one of those kind of challenging cultural moments, but a night like this, a moment like this, where somebody can just feel good about contributing and changing another person's life um, is possible. It's kind of beyond my wildest dreams. I love it. Well, thank you. Adam, I think we should move on to the 10K. Unfortunately, Perfect. no more 25, but many other opportunities for people to support. Go ahead. Great. So uh, the 10K level uh, enables us to provide programming that uh, does things like educating uh, 15 classrooms on menstrual hygiene management. And what this is really about more than anything else is gender equality and ensuring that every one of the girls that wants to attend a Pencil Promise school that lives in or around a community in which we operate has the opportunity to be there the same way that any boy in that community can as well. You know, for those that have spent time in the developing world or research, um, some of the different contexts in which children miss school, uh, menstrual hygiene management is a huge part of that. And so Pencil Promise committed quite early on to provide significant education uh, and support around these specific areas. And I'm proud to say that years later, we now have 50% parity between girls and boys in terms of those attending Pencil Promise schools. And it's only because of programs like this. So $10,000, again, will allow us to educate um, 15 classrooms on this specific type of programming. And I'll come back to you, Gary, to see if we have anybody at the 10K level. We have some 10Ks. People are standing nice. by and ready for that. Uh, we have Jay, uh, we have Jay Nadahara, ha, who has been an OG to pop forever. Mm -hmm. uh, big shout out to Jay. Deborah. Rothwell, who always shows up for us at Pop. Even, you know, I know that, so that's huge. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit more to see if more people will come in. Adam, what, why don't you give us a little tiny one minute story while we let 10K come in. Um, um, uh, wait, uh, actually, I'm sorry. Justin, Linda Reifler, our amazing board chair, is giving 25K. Wow, Linda. Linda is incredible. Thank you so much, She's Linda, amazing. to you and your entire family. So amazing. Linda, I love you so much. Every time I see you, I get so happy. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Adam, first gala, while we give a couple more people a 10K opportunity here. First gala, give us the 60 second story of the first gala. First gala was unbelievable. I, I, I'll admit this, I haven't been much, but I had never been to a gala in my life um, until we organized our first gala. 
Um, it was at uh, an event space in New York City. We had no idea what would happen. We had only done small dollar fundraisers, you know, $20 at the door for 20 somethings. This is our first big time event. Um, we had incredible people show up to support the organization. Uh, Justin Bieber, my brother, Scooter Braun, uh, Usher was there, Shaquille O'Neal, uh, on the fly, um, when we were doing our auction, you know, what i had heard was that if you could create unique moments, uh, that you couldn't get elsewhere, people would bid a lot on that and contribute to our, our work. And so Shaq was in the room being a basketball fan, my whole life, basketball player. I went up to him, I said, Shaq, would you offer a foul shooting, uh, clinic that you will provide to teach people how to shoot foul shots? Um, as part of the auction, because he's obviously notoriously one of the worst foul shooters ever and would never have put that on otherwise. Shaq said, no, I'm not going to do that, but I will host a four on four basketball game at my house privately in Florida. Uh, Justin jumped on board, said he wanted to play. Usher said he wanted to play. I think we had four or five different people simultaneously agree to the high bid to create that moment. Um, we raised more than a million dollars that night. It enabled us to expand our programming to Ghana. We could not have done that if we didn't raise a million dollars that night. And it absolutely changed the trajectory of the organization. And I'm you know, so grateful for that night, but also so hopeful for a night like this that it can also similarly change the trajectory of our work. Speaking of changing the trajectory, two incredible people that I've had the great honor of sitting on the board with. First, the Cahill family has come in for 10K. It's an unbelievable, unbelievable gift. And the Tate's family, in honor of Illinois, have come in for 10K as well. We're starting to rack up here a little bit. I hope this is absolutely inspiring others. Thank you so much to those two incredible, incredible, talk about incredible families. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you to, to Dan and Maureen, and thank you to, to Hope and Glenn. You know, each of those families has been incredible, incredible contributors to our work, uh, not just in, in financial contribution, but in time and effort and heart. And so thank you to both of you. Um, so maybe we'll move on uh, to the 5K level, yeah. Gary. Five, um, yeah, five. So $5,000 can enable one year of teacher training workshops for 10 teachers. Now, um, you know, think about this past year. I think one of the most unexpected moments and experiences is you've had so many of us that are parents to children who are normally in school have to fill in for that role, even on a temporary basis of a teacher. And I think more than anything, it's given us all such profound um, appreciation and hopefully gratitude for our superheroes in society, our, our, our daily teachers who work so tirelessly to support children. But if you think about it, you know they start out as normal folks as well, and it's really their own education, their tutelage that enables them to pass that on to children. And so Pens of Promise, Pretty early on, we recognized that building schools four walls was not enough. To be really transformative in the life of a child, you needed strong, qualified, well-supported teachers. And so we have an incredibly robust teacher training program and a gift at this level, at the $5,000 level, uh, will enable us to provide workshops for 10 teachers for a full year. So Gary, how, how are we doing on the $5,000 level? Uh, some of my favorite peeps, I got, I got some names here I'm excited about. Oh, wait a minute, this just in. $10,000 from Matt and Robin Long. Matt thank and you. Robin Long, thank you so much. Awesome, that's so, so great to hear, much. thank you. Okay, so that was exciting. Uh, this is an interesting one. TD Securities in for 7,500. I think they nice. got excited, they came, in, they came in the middle, I like that. I love thank it, you so I love it. Securities. Um, Joe and Christy Marchese, uh, two of my faves, are now in in the five, K level, Karen Harris, Karen Harris, who also I've had the great privilege to be on the board with, in for 5K. Jacob Freed in the building, in. Mm. Susan Rose in for 5K. So we're starting to see some real impact here tonight. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart, really. Absolutely. And, and Gary, let me just put this out there as well. Um, I know that you put a matching gift out there previously. I'd like to put out a matching gift as well, which is if anyone else will contribute 5K, I, I will personally contribute 5K as well to the organization. I love, I love you so much for that. Let's see what that comes in. Adam, um, so from year one, obviously, you know, you, your brother, your family, you put together a very, you know, probably the greatest by percentage 
like A-list fame arbitrage to where it was, which is an incredible thing. Obviously, you're sitting there thinking about building the organization. You realize that's not scalable to go back to the same individuals over and over, some of the relationships you and your family have built through those years. How do you think about your two for the gala? In a lot of that becomes the real one, right? Because you know you have to parlay and go there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, if I think back to the origins of, of Pencils of Promise, um, you know, the very beginning actually wasn't at all about, you know, drawing in folks that had greater influence and greater microphones and greater platforms. It was really just trying to get my friends and friends of friends to be a part of something positive, to be um, a part of something that was bigger than themselves. And that's why in our first two years, 98% of Pencils of Promise's donations were in amounts of $100 or less. You know, that that was the the core and that was the kind of movement and the foundation that allowed us to kind of level up, to attract greater, you know, um, uh, capacity givers uh, that have helped us go to another level. But at the same time, you know, I think one of the things that's made Pop so special is that we've never lost that connection to the groundswell, to the movement, to the grassroots component. And so, you know, that big gal year, 2011, the first time we did it, when we kind of blew things out of the water, you know, the next year we, we did a combination of saying, you know, who are the people that authentically and organically just believe in what we're doing? And again, I'll come back to this. I guarantee there's somebody out there right now that's watching, that's learning about Pencil of Promise for the very first time. And I can assure you that whatever you give to this organization tonight, you will receive back in multiples. Every person who's touched our work has experienced that. Again, I hope somebody will match my $5,000 contribution and help us, you know, Adam, get over that. That has happened. Robbie Turnick comes in for 5K. Adam Braun Amazing. comes in for 5K. Let's Amazing. Come. Thank um, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And it's <laughs> moments like that. It's really moments like that that's, you know, was year two. Somebody stepped up, somebody matched them. And whether it was 25 bucks, $25,000, or something in between, every dollar, every dollar is counted. Let's move to 1K. Okay, perfect. So there's only three giving levels left for, for those of you that are watching this. So I hope that everybody's able to participate at some level. If you can contribute at $1,000, this would be the moment. $1,000 allows us to educate and provide programming for 10 students for a full year. So that's for the type of uh, impact that your gift at $1,000 can have. And, you know, Gary, I, I think about our very first school and I, I find so many people, especially if they go in the field, you know, we have big numbers, 500 plus schools, 1,000, 100,000 students a day, but what really drives the heart piece of the work ends up being a, a relationship or a connection that you build with one student or one teacher or one community. And our very first school was built in a community named uh, Patong where I spent a lot of time. And and I just picture one of our earliest students, Newt, all the time. Um, and now, you know, she's it's a, a teenager, which is kind of pretty wild to think about. Um, but because of the impact that Pencil of Promise had at an early stage in, in her uh -huh. educational experience, Adam, Stuff started to change. So Gary, I'm coming back to you. Adam, I'm really excited to interrupt. Lisa and Ricky Novak have just come in for 5K. Hey, thank you guys. I love the Novaks. You guys are incredible. So unbelievable. Thank you so much, Novaks. Um, on the 1K, uh, Joseph Faisal has come in for 1K. Um, new board member, uh, Fit Samai is in the building for Amazing. 1K. So we've got a couple of 1Ks in the building. Adam, Beautiful. I think, I, I think what, what I love about tonight is the inability to say no, or, you know, like, it's really funny. Obviously, for me personally, if I, if I, if I could have a moment, I've been involved in this organization for a long time, uh, you know, like so many of us, that names you've heard tonight, including everybody on this Zoom and this call and this night, it ebbs and flows. We go through different life events. We go through different things. And so for me, you know, just the, the insanity of life, you know, do I get to the amount of board meetings that I used to or not? Things that I think about, but it's been so fun. And I just wanna thank Tanya for being my partner in crime this year. You know, I've spent a lot of time over the last eight to 12 weeks to just not say no, you know, when, when when this gala was being thought about, you know, what would be the timing? Don't forget, we have to plan these things months and months in advance. And 
I think people were optimistic. There was a lot of people hoping that we could put it on, right? When you're thinking mm-hmm. in March, April, May, June, July, you think you might be able to put it on. And then when you get to that realization that that's a bad, bad bet, that it might not work out and that no money then goes to, you know, this is, this is a different feeling than business. Your business mm-hmm. losses one way, but realizing if you don't, there are people that genuinely desperately need this that are not gonna be, and, and honestly, what does that even mean for a nonprofit? I remember thinking, if this doesn't go off, if this, what if it loses momentum? Like what happens? Like, you know, this is a, de- I mean, I, I'm speaking to somebody, this has been a death blow to some nonprofits. I just yes. wanna thank you and Tanya, the board, Joshua's gonna come later, everybody who's a part of this night to make it happen. Lisa, Ricky Novak, thank you so much. It's just such a big deal on mm-hmm. this night to keep this going and uh, and I'm thankful. And thank you for everybody who's donated at the 1K level. We're gonna move to the 500K level, $500, excuse me. Unless anybody's in the mood to drop a half a mil, <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Yeah. But we're moving to the $500 level. Uh, Adam, if you can create some context around that donation. Sure, so there's just two levels left. Um, we'll move through them because we still have additional programming here. Um, but at $500, you can provide programming like our hand washing stations for six schools in Laos. Again, this year, uh, we've all learned the value of hand washing uh, in the communities where we operate. This was something that we were putting into place well before COVID was an issue, purely because of the health ramifications of our children and their families and their collective well-being if they are not educated on the value of washing hands at an early stage, just like so many of us learned in our you know, preschool, primary school days. And this has never been more important and it's also never been more impactful than 2020, a moment like tonight. And so with that in mind, uh, that's the type of impact that your $500 gift can have. So Gary, I'll kick it back to you. Uh, How are we doing on the $500 level? Well, I don't have to pay $100, but I'm on the $5,000 level. I want to give a huge shout out to Jess Glazer, who's just come in for $5,000. That is nice. Wonderful. Courtney Beal, $1,000 in. Shelly Zalis, one of my dear friends, who I get to see quite a bit, just came in for $1,000. So it's starting to get interesting here. Uh, $500, Ricky Novak, coming back in for $500, I guess, you know, felt like you needed to give a little more. Nora Kubak as well, coming in for $500. Thank you so much to you two. Thank you, thank you. Well, again, it's open. You can continue to give as, as you're seeing, um, but we'll move on to the $75 level. Um, this is our final level. So if anybody is watching this has not had the opportunity to give yet tonight, I uh, would encourage you, I would ask you uh, to support our work even at $75, which enables us to educate one student for the entire year. Uh, If you think about the impact of that dollar, $75 for an entire year's worth of education for a child, it's extraordinary. You know, so many of us that have gotten a Western education here in the United States, you think about the costs of, you know, the dollar spent per student in public school, which is in the tens of thousands, costs of private school, which is even higher. You know, in the communities where we're working, $75 is truly, truly, truly transformative. Um, It provides an entire year of education. And for all of you that are watching this, you know, I hope that you can find it, even if it's been a challenging year, uh, in your hearts, in your pockets, whatever it is that motivates you to, to act, um, to give even uh, a number like $75, because it really does change things for uh, the students that we serve. Adam, two, four, five hundred dollars have come in. Uh, Tanya Ramos, our fearless leader. Love it. Has jumped in. Uh, Vincent Adepicho has also come in. Thank you so much, Vincent. Uh, We'll see what happens here with $75. I'm going to, look, first of all, thank you from the bottom of my heart for the $50 ticket you purchased to be watching this. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we need to do is guilt you, encourage you. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, I I always talk about being driven by gratitude or guilt. Like literally, I literally live my life on gratitude and guilt. Uh, They just kiss, they're kissing cousins for me. I'm so grateful the talents I was given. 
and, and I understand there's a little bit of a luck of the draw of DNA, circumstance. I was born in the Soviet Union as a true entrepreneur. I couldn't have been born in 1975 in a worse place for what I was, but I happened to be there at a time when I was able to get out of there, my family was, because of a million different circumstances that led to it. So if, if you are grateful tonight, and you've already given 50, and we mean it, an additional 75 would mean so much. It would mean so much right now. This is the time. I know there's a lot of friction in putting in a credit card, but I've come to learn most people memorize their credit cards. I'm not one of those people, Adam. But I, I always think that it's hard to do stuff on the internet. I, I didn't realize how many people had it memorized. Nonetheless, uh, there's a couple things that have just come in. Jim Carter, $350. Rosie Mercado, $150. Helen Kramer, $150. Thank you so, so much. Uh, Thank you. Hunter Lever, Peter, I'm getting first names right now. Peter, Antonio, Andrea, Andrea, Shannon, Susan, John, all coming in for $100. Thank you so, 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 Amazing. so. Gary, I don't know if you have access to this, but do we have a total that we've reached thus far? I'm gonna wait for that total from the team. Vivi, Kimberly, Rodriguez, thank you so much for your $75. Uh, I've got another chat over here that's giving me a total from Ryan, which I appreciate. The total- I know that'll probably include a bunch of people bought tables, tickets, so, so do we have a total sum yep. raise for the evening thus far? We do, I'm gonna quickly say Judy, Pamela, Myron, Timothy, thank you so much for your $75. Adam, on a night, that many, many months ago looked like it could be a zero. We are currently at $755,000. Wow. $755,000. Wow. $758. We're, we're on the cusp of $756,000. And that's because people are coming in now heavy at the $75 level, like Amanda and Jen and Stephanie and Robert and Lou and Bobby and Carolina and Victoria and Gregory and Roberto and Anthony and Sergio and Nick Amazing. all coming in. Well, like I said, Gary, you asked, you know, what did year two look like? Um, it was a combination of that early movement. And this is part of why I love this fun and need part of the evening. We get to celebrate the big gifts, but we also get to honor those smaller dollar contributions, because that's that's our foundation. That's where we started. And my sense is anybody who is giving, regardless of the number, you're stretching up slightly out of your comfort zone, slightly beyond your normal capacity for what feels right for you. And I mean, that total number is incredible. And it's the contribution of so many people that has enabled us to get there, which at its core is the foundation of Pencils of Promise. I want to remind everybody who's watching right now, we're going out to the after parties now, very different after parties than we're accustomed to. We've now pushed $758,000. Thank you so much, Daryl, Michael, and others. I am getting prepped now. I, I, I just, I wanna do a personal thank you because I know how many uh, people in my community are watching right now getting ready for the after party. Thank you so much to all of you over the last 72 hours who follow me on or social, other places, to buy this $500 ticket for this Q&A session that I'm going to do right now. I can't wait, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine and I'm gonna come right in. I'm sure you've got the links. I'm looking forward to the after party and so, your contributions pushed to the tune of almost, you know, just 50, 60, 70, $80,000 worth of tickets. So thank you so much, I'm humbled by that. Adam? And, and Gary, I just wanna, one, echo your uh, gratitude for your community, the Pence of Promise community, all of those people who have supported this evening. Um, but in addition, you know, as we can acknowledge, it's, it's been a really challenging year for so many people around the world. But while there is pain and suffering, there's also hope. And there are heroes amongst us as tonight, recognized with our honorees, as well as our contributors. And we hope that in sharing some of what inspires us at Pence of Promise to work towards fulfilling our mission, that in doing so and sharing that, you are inspired to stand up and serve a greater purpose as well. And so it gives me great pleasure to introduce all of you to a man who is doing just that. Straight off his performance for the Biden-Harris campaign and uh, being the former opening act for one of my all-time favorite bands, the Dave Matthews Band, uh, which is pretty mind-blowing to open up for, uh, here to perform the song Stand Up is our good friend, Aniello. You walk along, look to the sky You're asking questions and reasons why They build you up and 
tear you down But don't give up Get off the ground And stand up You're alright Oh, you're gonna win this fight Just stand up Don't lose sight No be alright. Now listen up. Don't look away. Inside you're perfect in every way. Just keep the strength and don't give up. Just keep the faith cause you're enough. What an amazing performance. Aniello, I can't begin to thank you for being a part of this amazing evening, for lending your support and that amazing voice. We're so grateful. Thank you. It's an honor, honor to be here. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you to Pencils of Promise and all of you guys, Gary and Adam. Um, thanks for having me. We're so thrilled. Hi, everyone. This now will conclude the main portion of our program. <clears throat> Yes, but I just want to make sure that people understand that you can absolutely go to after parties, live.pencilsofpromise.org, and you can click and purchase the after parties. I'm going to host mine right now. It's basically going to be the greatest after party in the history of virtual after parties during a pandemic in 2020. So I hope you join it. And Tanya, thank you so much for hosting this incredible night. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Gary. And that's right. Thank you for reminding me. The party's not over, everyone. Anyone who has ever gone to any one of our galas knows that we always have an after party. And tonight is no different. Click on your donate button right now. Join Gary's room. Join Jay Shetty's room. Join Rachel's room. Get on to the after party. On behalf of Pencil the Promise, we are just so thrilled. Thank you so much for your unwavering support this evening. I am just so humbled and honored to see all the many donations and all the support we were able to pull off this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, Gary, we need, we need you to give the final raise. What have What is the final raise? 
The final raise is seven hundred sixty-three thousand dollars, yeah. Tanya. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. We're so grateful for your boundless generos generosity and making this evening as successful as it's been. And as we think about much of what Gary said a little while ago, as did Adam, just operating from a place of gratitude. Before we end the evening, I just want to make sure I'm able to express my deep heartfelt gratitude. So first and foremost, Gary, I want to thank you so much. You have contributed so much to making this evening a success leading up to it. Your team at VaynerMedia, just so, so grateful. Tyler, I see you. Andy, I see you. Thank you so much for everything you did to make this possible. And Boz, Bozama St. John, Boz, our... Global Ambassador for Ghana, thank you so much for all that you did this evening and everything you've done this past year. And of course, our founder, Adam Braun. I see you, Adam. Thank you so much for your vision and your mission. And thank you. I feel so humbled and honored to be able to lead this organization alongside our amazing team in New York and our team globally. Thank you for this mission that you made possible. I also want to thank our board of directors, our host committee members, many of which came in at the same level that they did last year when we were in person. It just goes to show how extremely committed they are to the cause. I want to thank our advisory members. I want to thank everyone tuning in, our OGs and many of our newest supporters that are now part of the POP family. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining this journey. And we look forward to continuing this movement together. Um, for those of you who know me well, I love free because free means more resources for the communities that we serve around the globe. So with that said, I also want to make sure that I thank everyone that made this possible. Folks that donated, donated their talent and time. Again, first and foremost, I want to thank our POP team who worked tirelessly to make this happen. I also want to thank Vayner Media, who was a strong contributor and supporter of our uh, gala this evening. I want to thank Hayden Five, Jim Carter, our unsung hero who has supported us throughout many of our galas. Thank you, Jim. I want to thank Herve Vizera and Ethan Winters, who was responsible for creating our augmented reality, always looking to be above the cusp. Um, Super Connector Media, Consumable, and of course, again, on Yellow for your amazing performance. Thank you so very much. I want to thank Novica, Layden Lewis, um, One Hope, Air Plants, and of course, um, 54 Kibo. You made this night possible, and we could not thank you more. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the after party, and thank you for making it happen for us tonight. I'm humbled and honored to serve. Thank you, everyone.